Hey everyone, this is uh, Prashant. Uh, if you want to build an iPad prototype and if you want to simulate the dragging of a panel, uh, there is a simple way to do it. This is how you do it. You can click and drag this particular panel on the top and it'll go down and you can drag it again. It'll go, go uh, sorry, it'll go up and then you drag it again and it'll go down. And uh, if you simply just click on it or, you know, in the iPad, if you just, just touch on it, um, some other action can be initiated. And in, in the prototype, if you simply click on it, some other action can be initiated. Uh, there is a very simple way to do it. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and see how we can do this in Azure, um, in this, uh, in, in uh, the Azure tool. So you go ahead, I'm going to make the assumption that you know how to build basic prototypes in Azure here. So you th this particular panel, go ahead and build it um, in uh, in, a, in, in a simple in, in a simple rectangle and fill it with all the elements you need and convert that into a dynamic panel. Uh, to convert it into a dynamic panel, uh, convert any object into a dyna dynamic panel, you simply have to right click and say convert to dynamic panel. So I have already done that. So once you convert that into a dynamic panel, what you need to do is you need to click on it and you need to initiate some interaction. So go to the interaction panel and under on drag start, what you need to do is you need to add a case and first check if, uh, if the onload variable does not equal to one. Uh, we are doing this to make sure that um, we can switch a variable back and forth so that the first time you drag it, it goes up. The second time you drag it, it goes down. And uh, the the, fl the switch is flipped every time so that the system knows that you're clicking. The first click, it needs to go up. And the second click, it needs to go down. So that's the basic logic there. And uh, this is how you do it. So you, you first check to see if value of variable, onload variable, does not equal to 1. And uh, if it is not equal to 1, then you move the feeds panel by... Um, uh, minus 200 on the y-axis. Uh, the y-axis is because we want to move it up or down and we don't want it to move left and right. That's why the y-axis is, that's why we are moving it along the y-axis and not the x-axis. So here, here we go. So nothing on the x-axis. This is minus 200. Minus 200 is because you want to move this up minus 200. And then, because we want to flip the switch, what we what we need to do is we can set the value of variable onload variable is equal to one. And uh, this is the else case. So if this is not true, then case two needs to be done, which means if uh, the variable one is not zero, uh, we need to move this down. So this is now zero. Uh, now next click, we need to move it down. So that's what we are doing here. So else if this is not true, move feeds by 0, 0,200 um, and uh, flip the switch. That is set value of variable, onload variable is equal to 0. Uh, I know it sounds like a little bit of uh, logic, but it's fairly straightforward. And the results are beautiful, especially if, when you're showing this to your customers, partners, analysts, or development colleagues. Um, you can actually simulate things and that uh, is, is, is quite nice. So hope that's helpful. Um, the exact exact steps on how to do this, etc. Um, I'll post this in my blog, and you can see it. And um, the I'll also point to how to introduce this logic and how to um, yeah, point to videos on how to introduce this logic uh, in the in the interaction panel. Azure has pretty good videos on that. So thank you very much. Bye.